city like Paris, how do you pick the top three art museums when there are dozens to choose from? My answer, pick the classic museums that made Paris famous over the last century. My pick for number three, L'Orangerie with the amazing Monet water lilies. Number two, Dorsey in the beautifully restored 1898 rail station. And number one, everybody's number one, the Louvre. So now settle back and relax as I take you on an up close, private, personal tour of each of the top three Paris art museums. The L'Orangerie Museum, located in the west corner of Paris's Tuileries Gardens, is most famous as the permanent home of eight large water lilies murals painted by Claude Monet. Back in 1921, Monet was painting the water lilies series for the state of France, but they were destined for another museum, the Rodin Museum. The president of the French Fine Arts Council, Georges Clemenceau, wanted the paintings placed in the Larangerie instead, and Clemenceau got his way. Monet helped with the architectural design of Larangerie, and the eight panels were placed with great care. In 1927, when the museum was inaugurated a few months after Monet's death, it was called Museum Claude Monet. Subsequently, it was annexed into the Museum of Luxembourg and formally renamed Museum National L'Orangerie de Tuileries. is the purest definition of world-class art museum with Impressionist and Post-Impressionist paintings.
Napoleon III had the original L'Orangerie building completed in 1852 to store citrus trees of the Tuileries Gardens away from the cold in winter. And today it only stores amazing paintings. Museum in Paris on the left bank of the Seine. The museum is housed in the former Gare d'Orsay, a Beaux-Arts railway station built between 1898 and 1900. The building is beautifully restored with astounding architectural details. I visited d'Orsay in 72, 95, and today in 2022 and it just keeps getting better and better and better. Orsay is one of the largest art museums in Europe and one of the great museums in the world. D'Orsay holds mainly French art, dating between 1848 and 1914. It houses the largest collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist masterpieces in the entire world. Painters including Monet, Manet, Degas, Renoir, Cezanne, Seurat, Sisley, Gauguin, and Van Gogh. At any one time, there are about 3,000 pieces on display here at D'Orsay.
The Louvre Museum, or simply the Louvre as it's known throughout the world, is the most visited museum in the world, one of the largest art museums in the world, and a historic landmark here in Paris. The museum is housed in the Louvre Palace, originally built in the 13th century under Philip II. It's the home of some of the best-known artworks in the world, including the Mona Lisa. At any given point in time, 38,000 objects from prehistory to the 21st century are exhibited in the Louvre. That's about 10% of the total Louvre collection. A little history, the museum formally opened in August 1793 with an exhibition of 537 paintings and it has been refurbished several times over the centuries. The vast collection is divided among eight curatorial departments, Egyptian antiquities, Near Eastern Antiquities, Greek, Etruscan, and Roman Antiquities, Islamic Art, Sculpture, Decorative Arts, Paintings, Prints, and Drawings. I visited the Louvre in 1975, 1995, and again today in 2022 and the size and the scope of this place is still astounding to me. 652,000 square feet of museum space. It's overwhelming. And to prove my point, a recent study showed that it would take 100 days to see every piece of art in the Louvre, and that is if you only spend 30 seconds in front of each object. Folks ask me, what is your favorite piece of artwork in the Louvre? My answer is, it's all my favorite. The more I see of the lesser known pieces, the more I like the Louvre overall. Is this Paris's number one art museum? Probably. Is this the world's number one art museum? Maybe. Visit and you decide.